Tanner Mongo, is that you? <laughs> no. Uh, hey, how you guys going? My name is Harpy, and welcome back into this week's video. And today is a little bit more of a serious top video. Um, first of all, I want to say shout out to Block. Sorry for the lack of updates. Um, work has been pretty tough at the moment. And sorry for the lack of not wearing anything else besides my head. Um, it's very, very hot right now, and I just simply can't be asked to put everything else on. Simple as that. So basically, you've read the title of this video, and you're thinking to yourself, right, how did you get scammed for $900? So, for the sake of this story, I will not say the maker, because I don't wish anyone to send hate to this maker. I just want to say my point of view, and then hopefully you can get resorted and move on. But basically what happened was, in about June last year, I um, I ordered a second suit of a second character that I have. So it wasn't Heartbeat, it was a di completely different character. And it was a partial with sleeves, long sleeves. And she said, alright, cool, um, I'll pay 650 USD for it, which is 900 Australian dollars. Um, so I said, yep, cool, sweet, sent her the money, um, she sent me photos of updates throughout the weeks and all, all that, and then about August last year, she just went radio silent, she just went dead, she literally just stopped contacting me, I kept messaging her, sort of see what's going on, you know, if it's getting done anytime soon, if, um, you know, if just anything's happening, because... She hasn't uplo uploaded anything on her page, she hasn't uploaded anything, she hasn't messaged anything, like, nothing. So basically, in a nutshell, um, till this day, I still haven't received a suit, and I still haven't gotten anything, I'm still waiting for it. Now, immediately, you might be thinking, Heartbeat, you're an absolute idiot for uh, trusting a fursuit maker from Furry Amino, <laughs> which is true, which is where I actually ordered this suit from, from Furry Amino. Um, Yes, I know, I am a legit idiot, and I know I shouldn't have done that, but still, like, I either want my money back or the suit. Like, either one I'm happy with, but please, like, just give me something. Is it that difficult? Now, has anything been resorted? You know, has anything, is anything going on here? Um, a little bit? I've, I've, uh, I've found her email, and now um, I'm emailing her to see what's going on. I've also contacted staff on Furry Amino and moderators and creators and all that just to let them know, like, hey, you know, this person was supposed to make a suit for me last year for over $900 and I didn't get anything from it, so I'm waiting for where it is and hopefully within the next week or so it can be resorted. If not, then I don't know, I'm probably never going to get that money back. Now, now, also you might be thinking, you know, why are you telling us this? Like, why are you telling us a story that happened last year? Well, originally I was going to wait it out. You know, I was just going to go, okay, well, like, maybe she's just busy. You know, might be moving or just deleted the app by accident. You know, I just thought up these crazy, crazy reasons and sort of excused myself, that makes sense, to think that, oh, yeah, she, she's making it, she's making it, but I don't think she is. But the main reason why I'm telling you this is to let you guys know, um, to be very, very careful when commissioning a suit maker. Be very, very careful as to um, what they've made. Um, look for photos and whatnot. Look for other social medias. Like if they just have furry amino, most likely don't really trust them. If they've got pictures and whatnot, you know, Twitter, um, stuff like that, they're fairly well known. You know, if you say this maker's name and they go, oh yeah, I know that maker, most likely they've got to be very, very trusted. If, if they just have, like, one link, like Furry Amino or Twitter or something like that, and they don't have a lot of photos, then that's looking a little bit sketchy and probably should choose another maker. So yeah, lesson learnt from me and hopefully lesson learnt for you guys. Don't trust every single maker that you come across. Um, do your research and don't be an idiot like this dumb fox. But anyways, that wraps it up for this little story time video. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it. As I said before this video, I don't do many stories, I don't do many call outs, if you want to call it that. Um, so I don't expect too much of these. Um, you know, regular content as per usual throughout the weeks. Um, subscribe if you do want to see more. See more? Wow, that's a voice crack, Jesus. Subscribe if you want to see more. Um, 
And yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you guys in the next video. See you later, mate.